What we are required to do is what the PNM has done for 67 years, is to make good decisions in the best interest of all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. 67 years of that. I come to you tonight and explain what's going on. Things are not going to be so hard in the very, very near future. After seven years, we get in an ease up. After seven years of hardship, we can now spend some money. We can now improve the standard of living of our people. We can now help those most in need. And that is what this PNM government intends to do. And of course, the RIC makes proposals based on all the submissions made by the entity. They need to know where you're getting the gas from, how much you're paying for it, what's a reasonable price. If you don't pay it, what can happen, and so on and so on. And of course, you go out there to conduct the consultation, and political failures take over the process. And every night is the same political failures who are out there telling the people of Trinidad and Tobago that the RIC is the devil, the government is wicked, and the, prop the, the proposals are unconscionable. But let me tell you all something, PNM people and the rest of this country. What is unconscionable is if we do not rectify the situation, put some ease in place for TNTEC, and avoid TNTEC being in a position where they have to cut the service to the nation because they cannot pay the bill and the raw material isn't available. But you know what is being said to intelligent people? Well, we have oil and we have gas, so why we should be paying more? There's no country in the world that has more oil and gas than the United States. But I'm sure you all would have seen recently where the price of gasoline in the United States went up to almost $7 a gallon, U.S. dollars. It is because you are engaged in an economy where you buy the raw material and you sell the finished product. That's the arrangement. So don't let anybody come and insult your intelligence and tell you because there is oil and gas in Trinidad and Tobago, the government should not, or the state should not ask anybody to pay any more for it. And they say, not at this time. Okay, fine. Which time? When is it ever a good time? Because every time there are challenges, there are always challenges. What we are required to do is what the PNM has done for 67 years, is to make good decisions in the best interest of all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. 67 years of that. You know, it's one thing to talk stupidness, but if you're talking it to people who will see your stupidness, then you're really stupid.